Over the years, I reviewed a lot of cheap hubs. What is the one I use most? Let me show you. All right, welcome back to the channel, and I figured I would just do a video. This is gonna be a quick video, I promise you, because I've done videos on all of these different hubs. I do a lot of reviews on inexpensive hubs, anywhere from maybe 30 or 40 bucks and down. There's one in here that's an exception to that, and I'm gonna get into that in a second. But as you can see on my desk, I have, I think, 10 different hubs here. I have a whole bunch of other ones, but these are the ones I do that are cheaper, and I review them all. So, now let me just start off by saying these all work with my MacBook Air over here, and my iMac, and they work fine with the Mac. Um, any of these, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna recommend which one I use most, and I'm gonna have links to all these in the description if you wanna check them out yourself in my video's description. But at the end of the day, everything works to a certain extent, you know, depending on what computer you have, depending on the level of software, the Mac OS you're using. I've heard, you know, there's a bunch of comments on all these hubs of how it could possibly mess up the Mac or something because when Mac had that problem where these external hubs were doing stuff, then it got fixed. And so there's all these different variables going on. I just, my experience is what I'm going to share today. So out of all of these, which is the one I use the most, or maybe there's two of them, I'm just going to show you out of all of them, which one it is, just so you guys know, and then just let you know, of all the other ones that are available for really inexpensive cost. Like I said, most of these are in the 20s, a couple are in the 30s and so. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the very first one I wanna share with you, this one's by Hoyoko or Hoyokai. It's impossible some of these Chinese names to say. Um, I like this one, but it's, it is a plastic construction. And for, first of all, these are all gonna be USB-C on the end. So all USB-C connectors on the end. But this one in general has a lot of connections. It's got basically two USB-A on one side, two card readers, which is great, the big one and the small one, micro and, and the standard SD cards. On the other side, it's got a power uh, input, so you can go ahead and charge your MacBook. And then it's got HDMI and then another USB-A. It looks like it's actually the, the, the slower one. And then on this side, it's got actually an ethernet jack, which is really nice. So this is actually a nice hub. And uh, I'm just gonna go through all of them first, and I'm gonna tell you which one I like the best. All right, I got two now from Mokin. This first one is gonna be like $15 or so. It's got basically three USB-A on one side, nothing on the other side. And then on the back side over here, it's got you know an ethernet port as well. And uh, so this one's like 15 bucks, very inexpensive. Let me go ahead and show you the next one. The next one's by Mokin as well. And this one's gonna be a little bit more advanced, but still fairly simple. This is around $20. It's gonna have two USB-A card reader, SD card, and then the, you know, the micro SD. And then on this side, it's got the HDMI port as well. So that's nice in case you wanna do a monitor while you're somewhere. But um, again, this is super small size and so is the other Mokin. So obviously those are good for kind of traveling, but they're limited in the ports. All right, and then the next one I have here, and again, just not to rehash everything, but I have done reviews on all these, so go back and check out those videos. Um, this is just a quick rehash. This next one's by Link Plus. It's a metal hub. I liked it because of the size of it. You can see it up close there. It's basically gonna be a great travel hub because of the size. It's got this rubberized cord, um, and it's got kind of you know a good, good amount of ports. It's got two USB-A on one side. On the other side, it's got a power USB-C to go ahead and power the MacBook, and then it's got an HDMI, and then again, it's got an Ethernet jack on one side as well. So the Ethernet, a lot of people don't need that, but if you do need it, that's actually a good travel hub just in case you're maybe at a hotel or something. The next one is, you know, one of my favorite, but again, it's not, I don't know yet if it is gonna be my favorite, so stay tuned for that, but this is gonna be the Vava Hub. I mean, if you look on uh, Amazon, there's been, you know, thousands of these sold, obviously. And this is a good one because it does have a lot of ports for the cost. This is gonna be usually in the 20s, too. It's got three USB-A's on one side, and then the other side, it's got a DC in, USB-C for powering, and then it's got two, uh, you know, micro and a standard SD card reader as well. And then on one side, it's got an HDMI on the end of it over here. So gives you a lot of ports there. And uh, we'll keep moving down the line here. Um, this next one I did a review on as well. This one's by Lention. And uh, this one is, again, metal construction. Nothing on one side of it, so it's pretty basic on one side. And then on the other side, it's got... It's kind of weird how they do this, but it's got an HDMI and then three USB-A ports. You can see them there. And then on the actually end of it, it's got the, the card reader. So it's got the SD card and the micro SD card. I don't know why they didn't put it on the other end. They put it you know, at the very end of it. They didn't put it on this side over here. But in any case, this is an all metal construction hub and I just did a review on this one as well. So 
There, there's that one. Um, there's one in here now that actually is, is very simple. Obviously, it's, it's just this one little cord, basically. And these are great if you want to go ahead and go from USB-C to USB-A. Obviously, your MacBook does not have USB-A, but you have a lot of reasons to need it. This is a great, great one here. But I'll tell you right now, this is not the one that I use the most. So, um, but it's just something I wanted to throw in there. And then finally, this other one here. This one over here is by I Kling, or I, I, I don't know how to say it. It's another Chinese name. It's I K L I N G. And it's again metal construction, kind of a plastic on the one side. This has got a ton of different ports on it. So on one side, it's got micro SD and SD card reader, two USB A's. And then on the other side, actually, it's got an audio, which is cool, a headphone jack audio. It's got an HDMI, and it's got a weird one here, a VGA port. Hey, believe it or not, a VGA. So if you need that, this is a good runner up. And then on this other side, actually, it's got uh, the Ethernet again, and it's also got a, a power in with a USB-C if you need to power the MacBook. So a lot of different ports on this one, and uh, that's a good one as well. Now this one is actually, this one's by Anchor, and I've had this probably the longest, um, you know, it's one of the ones I started with. This one is kind of, I think it's a metal, maybe metal and plastic instruction. Anchor's a good name in these kind of hubs and stuff, so, and this has got a lot of good ports. So on one side it's got HDMI, two SD card readers, micro and standard. It's got the power in with the USB-C if you want to power your, your device. Now on the other side it's actually got two USB-A's and then the kicker is the USB-C here which is actually data. It's not just power but data on that and it's got like a little light that lights up but nothing on the end of it there. So that's nice. And then finally over here I just wanted to show you I kind of threw this in there because I, I love this thing. This is the Quizilab or Quizzy Lab, or I don't know how to say it, but I'll have a link in the description to it. And this is a great hub. I mean, I know it's made for a Mac Mini. Um, I have one over here, but I use it for like when I'm, if I'm not traveling, obviously, I use it for my MacBook Pro or my MacBook Air or whatever, you know, iMac or whatever I have. So this one's got a ton of ports too. It looks obviously like a little Mac Mini. It's got three USB A's in the front, two SD card readers. It's got actually a USB C that's data, which is really cool. And then on the back, it's actually got two, two different USB ports, but one of them actually goes from here into your computer so you can move the data back and forth, and I'll explain in a second. And the other one actually is an extra power cable in case you need. So basically, the reason you need that extra power cable, you don't need it all the time. But when you do need it, it's because, let me see if I can open this up. This thing is great because on the back or the bottom of it, this takes two different hard drives. I'll give a close-up of it. One of them I have in here, you can see, this is just a standard 2.5 inch SSD, but it does take an M.2 over here, which I don't have one in there right now. I did earlier, but I don't have one now. So, but if this drive over here, this SSD drive was a spinning drive, like a 2.5, you know, just a spinning drive, which would fit in here, then you'd probably need to power this or you add some power to it. But with two SSD drives, you really don't need to, and it connects right into your system and it works perfectly. So, um, but obviously this is a little bit more. This one's going to be like 70 or 80 bucks or something, maybe 85 bucks, and I'll have a link to that. So overall though, so what are the ones that I use the most here without final, you know, without getting too much into it? Believe it or not, over the years has been the Anchor. Now the reason for this is simple, is really the only one out of all these cheap ones that does include USB-C data and a USB-C power charging, two different ports there. So the data works on that. It also got, has some USB-A, it has HDMI, and it has the two card readers. So the Anchor has been the one I've been using the most, believe it or not. It's a little bit bigger than the rest of them, which is unusual, a little bit heavier, but I just tend to kind of use it in my bag because it gives me more options. If I do need something uh, with Ethernet, I'll bring this little teeny one with me, this Mokin or something. So. That's, that's the one I use the most, just if I want it without you know, further ado. And then finally, this Quizalab, I mean, this has got the runner up, even though this doesn't really count as a cheap one. Um, I love this one when I'm actually at home base because of these huge storage options on that thing. It's incredible. So it's not only a hub, it's a hard drive or two of them in there. Great option. So anyways, do your due diligence. I'm not recommending anything. I mean, if you look at all these, like I said, people, there's thousands of people that bought this anchor, maybe 20,000 people. Out of that 20,000, you'll see some reviews saying, oh, it hurt my MacBook Pro or something. But you got to dig into it. It's, there's usually other reasons or something, or it's the different, the way older version of software that got fixed. It was an Apple issue, actually. And uh, so all of these have different issues with everything, but I've had no issues with any of them yet. I mean, some of them are faster than others and slower. Look at my other reviews. But, so I'm not gonna say go out and buy one over the other because obviously your needs are different. I just wanted to show you if you watch my channel which is the one I use the most out of all of them. And I hope you guys like this. We'll wrap up the video and uh, we'll talk to you in a few days. Peace.